Hello everybody, and welcome to my cooking channel. I'm the Macedonian cook. What you making, Dave? Today, we're making a brown sugar pie crust. We're gonna hop right into it and just start really quick. Our flour, our butter that I've cut up. It's always best to use uh, cold butter, the brown sugar, about a teaspoon of vinegar. We'll just do a little squirt. That's about a teaspoon. And we'll put in the egg there. A quarter of a cup of cold water. And we're only going to put in a little bit at a time. Okay, here we go. We're just going to start mixing it up. It takes a little bit of time. But before you know it, we're going to have a really, really nice pie crust, brown sugar pie crust. And we want just a little bit of salt in here. Right now I'm on low speed. I'm starting to get tired. Why well, you get a mixer? Well, that's not the whole point. I could get a mixer. Part of the reason why I love cooking so much is that it tires me out and I have a lot of energy. Take that. Yeah, pie crust you. Now we'll know we have success when it becomes a little bit crumbly. We're not there yet. I'd say we're at least half of the way there. So probably, depending on how many breaks I take, um, the next minute, minute and a half. Okay, maybe a little longer. Holy moly. Uh, it was just assisted by the camera person. Uh, I do need a little bit more water. Thank you very much. That did help very much. Oh, yes, we're starting to get there. Alrighty, we are at the consistency that I want for the pie crust. I'm going to grab some plastic wrap. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tighten up the dough a little bit. Or the pie crust, I should say. Not all the way, just into a nice little ball. And into the fridge, this will go for at least an hour. And we'll be right back to show you how to roll it out after the quick break. Hello everybody and welcome back. Just gonna throw a little bit of flour down here. Not too much. Just enough to work with for a brown sugar. Pie crust. So I'm just gonna work with it with my hands quickly. Just to spread it out a bit, put a little flour on there so it doesn't stick to the board. Now we're going to grab our lovely and trusted rolling pin. And roll 
the dough out until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Sorry, the crust, but it is a form of the dough. If anybody else has a tool that they use, instead of a traditional rolling pin, feel free to drop a comment and let us know. I'd love to hear. So you can use this pie crust for many different types of tarts. Um, for example, butter tarts, which we have another video for. And I am looking forward to trying some of the tarts we are going to make. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half and put the other half on our cutting board. I'm going to finish rolling this one out to the correct thickness. And there's lots of other different fillings that you can use. Not just the traditional Canadian butter tart one, but uh, you can do lemon tarts, any kind of fruit. So just a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pick the dough up now to show you just how thick, roughly, that you want it. I'm going to take our other lovely piece of dough and finish rolling off the rest of this lovely pastry. Just a little bit more. Not the too much, just a little. Just a little bit. Don't want to get in trouble for any samples there. So that's all you get of the song. Just a little bit. Alrighty. So the pie crust is rolled out. Now we have our lovely muffin tin here. So I'm basically going to just one by one, just with a little bit of oil. coat each one with a little bit of vegetable oil okay here's a little trick this is just a regular pint glass and I'm going to use this to cut the size of our butter tart, the crust for our butter tart. Oh, I'll just roll it a little bit. No problem. It's good now. Yes, yeah, that piece of butter right there. So we show everybody about the size. Now little trick is just to put a little bit of flour in each one. Not too much. Just a little bit. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to place that in here. Put it down in the middle, just like that. And you have yourself a lovely little butter tart. So we'll just repeat the process over and over again. So I will cut a bunch of our lovely pieces of pie crust.
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, something that the whole family can do. You can use it for tarts, pie crusts, absolutely anything. But today, we're going to use it for butter tarts. Thanks for joining us, everyone. If you take a look up, you'll see a little card that you can click on to see the butter tart video. That'll conclude the pastry lesson for today. Uh, feel free to use this for any tart or pie crust that you need to use. It turns out really, really nice. And check out the other video if you want to see how the butter tarts come out. Don't forget, click like, subscribe. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.